Hey, what's up everyone today? <coughs> well, a couple months ago, actually, many months ago, I made a map in Forever called Floppy Pear. It's basically a one to one remake of Flappy Bird in Minecraft. Now, I did make this in private. Yes, I did not do this for a video. It's planned to be a video, but all the footage crap that I did, I don't know, it's been a while. And I guess I couldn't upload it. So, yeah. What I'm doing today is I'm adding some big changes to the map, such as how to make the pipes different and also how to choose a different pipe. I haven't edited this map in a while, so I am really not this picture anymore. But that's okay. Uh, so yeah, I'll try my best. And yeah, let's get on to the video. So first, I want to show you the game right now before I do anything with it. So the first thing is you press the start button. Three, two, one, go. You have a parrot and you press the jump button and it will move up. Your goal is to try to dodge the pipes that are copied from over there. Now, if you, yeah, if you touch the ground, you're dead. And also, if you touch the pipes, you are also dead. Pretty good system, but it needs a little bit more change, don't you think? So the first addition I want to make is I want to make a little settings button over here, so that's pretty easy. All I gotta do is just settings. Perfect. Now I need a command block that will be right behind the settings button. Perfect. And now we will take some of these command blocks. Actually, beautiful. Uh, can do this and I will make it so that this teleport you into another one. And I'm gonna do that in the snap of a finger. Hopefully. I don't know. But yeah, hopefully it should be all ready to go once you're making this snap. Seems like I did it. Well, that was certainly interesting. Um, basically, this room has it to where you can change the pipe layout and you can change the birds. So first, let's start out with the change pipe. pipe thing. So basically, all of these commands are looping, and they're copying this to here by hand. I had to do this all by hand like three hours so if you change anything here like if i were to make this that high, then fun fact if you actually try to play watch what will happen <laughs> yeah and you can't dodge it <laughs> which is funny but it makes it really awesome. First, I'm gonna increase the difficulty by doing that. Makes it a little bit more interesting. Um, but it seems like that's pretty much a lot. But, but it seems like that's pretty much all we can do with that stuff. So, first of all, I need a back button because all I did was make a room around this. And also make a room over there with those buttons. So, uh, let me do that really. Okay, so what I have so far is this button will take you to, oh wait, no, I need to change that. Options. So this menu, this button, will take you to the options menu. It says, welcome to the options menu. And I can change the pipe layout, which doesn't do anything yet, or you could change verbs, which doesn't do anything yet. But if you come over here, this is where you can change your bridge. So there's a rainbow bird, which is default. There's a back button and there's a preview button that will spawn in all birds now. I haven't made all this yet, but my idea is that when you press this button, it'll say bird selected, 
And basically what will happen is it will run a command <coughs> that changes a command block where it summons the bird for the game. Uh, yeah, right here, variant zero. That's the rainbow variant. So it'll, it's gonna change the uh, command block command to a certain command that allows it to be a different variant. And once it's spawned that one, then it will, you know, change it. And then it's a different bird color, which is pretty cool. <coughs> this will summon all the bird colors inside the glass. So I can actually preview what they look like. Um, so yeah. And also, remember, if I'm previewing all of these, and the game just teleports uh, I need to make some changes. Okay, so what I've done to fix that is I've made it so that when you press this button, it obviously has no block right now. And whenever you game over, you see this happens whenever you touch the green, the, the, you know, and it will game over you. This is the game over sequence. I added an extra command block that will make this block, which will be a redstone block that teleports the parrot over there. And basically, it will um, fix that so that whenever we are in the game, it will teleport the parrot. But when we are not in the game, it will not teleport the parrot. So whenever you press preview, it won't just Instead of having all the parrots here, it will, it will, it will like, if what I didn't fix that, then if it would have all the parrots here for like a split second, and then it would just over here, which would be no bueno. Okay. All right, so it's fixed. I'm gonna test if it still works. Three, two, one, go. Works beautifully. Perfect. Let's. Yeah, I did make one tiny little edit, and I'm gonna destroy that. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. Alright, now let me fix a couple things up, and I'll see you in the next clip. Okay, just noticed another thing wrong. So if I try to summon a parrot, like I just did, it will instantly die, because it's getting teleported over there. Why? Because I forgot to set it to me, it's redstone. Speaking of, now that it's correct, let's test it. Perfect. Okay, it still works. And it can also die. And if we summon another one, it will teleport there. But you might notice an issue. So if I try to put it in here, it's just gonna, I mean, just watch. It's, it's so fun. Bruh. Bruh. Wait, get back here. No, no, please. All right, so what's causing that to happen is this command will always make the parrots go down. And so that means if I turn it off, well, like, um, yeah, it still goes up though. So, to fix that, let's do the exact same method we did last time. Yay! And done. Now, if I summon a parrot, it will slowly float down like it's supposed to. No, no, get down from there. Uh, so, anyways, now, since that happened, you see how it was flapping its wings, that means that it wasn't just being teleported down, so I can actually summon it, and it will stay. One more time. I am literally, um, anyways, what I was saying was that it works perfectly fine. 
and still, even though it's still able to be on the ground without going through the floor, it, you can still play the game perfectly fine, right? Yes. Alright, well, time to get the preview. Oh, and also, sorry that last time we got to see the bottom of my computer screen. Sorry. Well, it is some of the green bird inside of there, and, um... I think it's broken. That... that what? Preview button is now ready. Yeah, press the... What am I doing? Yeah, press the preview button. Here they are. All on Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not fixing that. Let's move on. It's okay if they escape. Just come, but just go back and then come back here. Oh, no. What have I done? What have I? Now let's get to work to actually setting it to where the parents are actually huge. Okay, so if I have the biggest brain, ignore the chat. If I have the biggest brain in the entire world, it should work. So preview, uh, ignore that. You know what? What you get? So if I want to set it to the gray bird, I'll click on, actually I'll click on sign. I'll head back, back, start. <gasps> it's a sale! Why that happened? Uh, is that another problem I have to diagnose? Please, no. It's another problem I have to diagnose. Dirt! Finally got it to work again. So now we can choose Green Bird, because why not? We'll head back, back again. And so basically what was happening is this was set to tilt to tilt to tilt to which spawns it at this position, and then that'll just tilt her over there. But it was spawning at this height, which was way too low for the player to actually realize that it's this low, and then the bird just dies so what i did was i made it spawn three blocks higher which is good enough to where you actually have the reaction time to go up look at that and the game works perfectly every single aspect of it is perfectly perfect like you can still die yep but there's two more things I have yet to fix. Let's review them. So first, watch this. So you start the game, three, two, one, go. But if you die, pipes still go. But if you press start again, it kind of glitches a little bit and keeps the last game's pipe. So I kind of want to fix that, but that, That'd be too much work, so I don't care. Sorry, we might be fixing a later update in the next video. Maybe I don't know. Uh, but for now, what I'm mainly focused on is this, this place. Yeah, remember this? Yeah, I didn't forget about it. So I'm gonna be trying to fix it. So just let me work my magic and have fun. Really good at this. I might be able to get it to work. In the next clip. And the map is complete. If you'd like to see the whole full thing, then here it is. Right here. You log on, obviously, in the adventure mode. You're here. Because, like, duh. You're here. Where else would you be? It's literally. It's, it, the, the, literally in the name, it's a flat screen. Okay. Um. By the way, you can't get out. So, also, there's a disclaimer. Please take note that if your render distance is low, some things may not work properly. 
Same goes for your simulation distance. So that's a little note that you need to turn up your render distance if some things aren't working. You can head into options, you can change the pipe layout, and that didn't work. Let me fix something. Of course, nothing ever works on the first try, but that's okay. So you head into options, you can change your bird. So first let me show you the non-edited version. This is the original version. You have a bird, and you play Flappy Bird. You press the button to jump, and you slowly go down. If you touch any of the pipes or any of the ground, you die. Pretty simple. And into options, you can change a bird. That's the default bird. The new bird is the green bird. You can also preview all the birds if they escape. You just go back and go back to it. So these are all the birds. I'm gonna I'm gonna do cyan for now actually. And then I'm gonna head back. And now I'm gonna play with the cyan bird. Let's go. So it works just as normal, just with a different bird. But now. Advanced change pipe layout. Okay, right, now this is a long message that I just got typed in chat. Just give it a second. Hey, you have been given some blocks to, repl to replace the pipes with. If you replace them with anything else, the game will simply not recognize it and will not make you lose the game. I've given you create a mode to replace some of the some of these blocks. Take take note that if you fly out and destroy the map, any damage that is caused is not my responsibility, and you will have to re-download the map if you wish to continue playing the map. And yes, if you fill the pipes with all green, then it is impossible. Have fun, and press the button behind you if you'd just like to return to the main menu. Oh, in the white concrete is just to show you what the original layout was. If you're wondering what, it, what I mean by white concrete, it's this. You can't break it. So, just to remind you what the original layout is. And yes, what I did mention, if you put all the pipes with green, um, it does screw some things up. Let me show you what I mean. <laughs> this is gonna be so funny. And you, you can't escape. And you think, oh, that one gamer. Or you just call me gamer. Oh, you can just go through the ceiling. No, you can't. No, you cannot. I fixed that. And so, yeah, that is the new and updated and improved version of Floppy Perry. Original version will be in the description. The new version will be in the description. And if I make any updates off camera, that will also be in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace. All right, little bonus part before we end the video. Here's my friend Hui. Say hello. <coughs> <laughs> so, as you can notice, you've you've seen this map before, right? You know, you know this map. Now I'm playing. <laughs> so, if I press start, you know the drill. It's it's normal flap drill, obviously. Oh wait, crap! I'm in the wrong one. No, and I call this one. Flappy Bird 2.0. So, what? What is? Please stop. What? What? Why are you making that noise? Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Okay. Um. So I like to call this Flappy Bird 2.0. So you may notice a couple things that are different, but I'm not gonna show you those just yet. So you know the usual. You start the game. It's normal. You got a bird, and you know you, you've played this before. You played. This before. You play this so the bird dies. Not you play this. Okay. So okay, this is the options menu. Uh, yup. So do you want to change the bird that you play as, or do you want to change the pipe layout? <coughs> change the pipe layout. Okay. This is, hey, you've been given some blocks to replace the pipes with it. So you're literally given creative mode. So you could uh, do some Wait. stuff, but um, we're not here for that. So um, you can actually change it, and this is in the this is in Flappy Bird 2.0, the Flappy Pair, I like to call. It. 
And that's actually a feature now, so I love that. Stop. So you can change the birds. There's rainbow bird, blue bird, green bird, cyan bird, and gray slash gray bird. Yes, the different spellings. And there's also a preview button, but if they escape, just go back and then come back here. Yeah, there is a preview button, but yeah, that happens. Uh, so I'm gonna choose the green bird. And watch this. You know how I was a rainbow bird earlier? Well, watch what happens once I click the green bird button. It's green. Is that cool? Oh yeah, and the pipes, the pipes change. Nice. Uh, do you like this new version of Floppy Bird? Yes. Bears? Yes. Look at that. It took me a couple hours, but I've done it, and this is now in a recording. Thank you for reacting to it, Lee. Yep. Yeah. Alright. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching the bonus clip, too. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh, by the way, this map doesn't come with the show. See ya!